Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Control from Control Sewing, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a EDC organizer. So, few words about this pouch. This is a EDC organizer, meaning everyday carry organizer. This is a clamshell style pouch. As you can see on the front, we have some Velcro. We have some pulse webbing here. On the back, we have some. We have more. Uh, pulse webbing. It could be interlocked with molly. We have some handle for carrying, zipper pull tabs, double zipper with elastic shock cord. On the inside, as you can see, this is a clamshell pouch, opens on both sides. Uh, on the inside we have a three pockets, both uh, two pockets on the one side and one pocket on the other side. So on the one side we have one pocket with two sections of uh, four loops of elastic webbing. On the other side we have two pockets. We have one uh, mesh pocket and one fabric pocket. Uh, we have six sections of elastic loops as you can see. Organizers are pretty cool. I really love those. It's one of the first things I made when I started sewing. So. Let me show you how to make one of these. Alright, for this pouch we are making, you, will, uh, you can use any fabric you have at hand, it doesn't matter, I'm using, uh, I'm using uh, Cordura. So, measurements are as follows. 11 centimeters by 16 centimeters so you will need two pieces of those which are for the front and back uh, sides then uh, you will need same dimensions uh, 11 centimeters by 16 uh, you will need some fabric which will be your uh, inner pocket so whatever you have at hand mesh fabric for third pocket uh, same dimensions 11 by 16 centimeters then uh, we have our uh, uh, bottom side or uh, non zipper side which is 4 centimeters by 12 centimeters and we have our zipper part which will be 4 centimeters by 46 centimeters so uh, let's start with the easy part that is uh, sewing the zipper part and then we'll progress on something else all right zipper part let's measure the middle points on both sides that's two centimeter middle point I already have a uh, video tutorial on uh, sewing zippers, I will post the link in the description. I will be posting other links for uh, other tutorials and techniques I'm using here, so you can check those out. If you are new to the channel, if you are new, please subscribe. 80, almost 90% of you are uh, not subscribed so please subscribe okay so let's uh, sew the zipper I already have a video tutorial I will be posting the link in the video description so uh, let's start sewing Let's go slowly here.
right when you get to the end here you want to lift the foot and uh, raise the needle align the sewing foot with the seam that you just uh, have sewn also it doesn't matter what machine you have if it's uh, as long as it is a straight a straight stitch uh, sewing machine Right now let's do the other side so basically we will uh, repeat the process folding the fabric to help it with the sewing and uh, repeat the same process again Right now, now that we have uh, sewn the zipper, let's add two zipper heads from both sides facing towards the middle. You will cut two pieces of webbing that are 10 centimeters each. Let's burn the ends. I got a, a neat little uh, flame gun. Alright, now fold the webbing in half like that and place it in the middle of the zipper uh, facing towards the middle give it a few stitches Another, 
uh, other side. Trim off the excess fabric, zipper. And uh, for zippers, let's use this uh, elastic bungee cord. Uh, we will use uh, two pieces of 25 centimeters. And you will. There are two holes in the zipper, lower hole. Pull the elastic cords to the middle then through the upper hole, the next one as well, and just tie an overhand knot. Alright, now we got our zipper. Okay, now that turned out okay. That's our zipper. Now, let's proceed on to the next thing, which will be our front uh, panel. Okay. Now, we will uh, draw a middle point, middle line, but first let's find the middle points. Uh, our side is uh, 11 centimeters, that's five and a half centimeters middle point. Let's do that for the both up and lower side. Let's connect those two. Two pieces of webbing that will go for uh, that will go for pulse webbing. Just uh, measure it like that, or you can actual measure is 13 centimeters because I'm using the it's the easiest way, and I'm going to trim off the excess later. Hot gun. It's not really a hot gun, it's more like a jet flame that uh, really burns the. really uh, has intense flame. Uh, you can't see it, it's quite. Um, barely, you can barely see it. Okay, now we're going to have one. Webbing, one piece of webbing here, so starting from the bottom, place the webbing like so, and then add second one. So this is this will be the first one, and let's cut another piece of webbing just for measuring. So we have like this one piece that will be our space next webbing will go here then we need another space and it will go something like that and on the top here on the 
top we'll add some uh, velcro non-sticky part the soft one will be here and here so let's uh, sew these two Okay, so starting from the bottom, we will place one piece of webbing like so, and then we'll add another one, which we will use. So we just skipped one, as I said already. I uh, have a video on uh, how to sew pulse webbing. I will be posting that into the link description as well. Then goes another space and another web. Make sure that you align uh, the webbing correctly so it doesn't go to the one side or the other. Make sure it's aligned to the middle. soft part as you can see I am uh, eyeballing it but the correct measure is uh, one centimeter one and a half centimeter from the top or uh, one and a half centimeter from the webbing. Now let's sew the sides of these webbing parts. Now we are not done yet, uh, I will use my zigzag machine, my other machine, it doesn't matter if you, if you have uh, only one machine with a straight stitch, that's alright, Ju uh, just uh, remember to do triple stitching here in the middle, so it holds, and later uh, you will uh, add two more stitches to the sides, so don't worry about that, if you have a zigzag machine, you can follow the next step, if you don't, uh, just enjoy the ride. Okay, so uh, now we will do just uh, zigzag in the middle uh, and on the sides here. So three stitches, three times on the one webbing. Uh, 
one stitch on the side here. And on the other side as well. That's it for the front panel. Uh, we secured these stitches uh, with this type of sewing so they are durable and won't, uh, they won't rip off if you put uh, pressure on them. Alright, now it's time for the uh, back side of the pouch. Okay, now for this, for the back panel. Uh, since this is an organizer and uh, it's a clamshell organizer, it won't be it won't be attached to the to some PAL system. But uh, we will place uh, another PAL webbing on the back side, which will have uh, four the, of these uh, straps side by side. Okay, so four. Four pieces of webbing. You will measure it like this. You will measure it like this. And just cut the webbing. It's the same same uh, length as the fabric itself. We need three more pieces. Uh, by the way, this uh, project I'm showing you, this is just a guideline. You don't have to do everything I'm doing. For example, I want to try this. Um, I want to try this technique out on my uh, on my pouch. But uh, if you are willing, you can sew a molly panel on the back, which would have two of these pieces like that and uh, two pieces like this with the webbing here. Uh, I already have a video about that, so you can uh, you can check that out, and you can sew uh, molly panel. I'm going to sew a set of pulse webbing here, like this, somewhere in the middle. Something like that, and I will add a. Uh, loop another loop for the for carrying so let's get this under the machine Make sure everything is aligned. Okay, now that we have sewn uh, the webbing, let's sew the handle. Um, 
webbing for the handle is uh, 17 centimeters and we are going to we are going to sew it one centimeter from each side so measure one centimeter from both sides towards the middle and sew it and give it a uh, triple stitching Okay, now that we have our uh, back panel, uh, now I'm going to uh, sew it over the zigzag machine. Okay, now that we have sewn the back panel, back panel is done. Now let's start sewing the pockets. My cat wants to see if I'm doing everything right. Boring little cat, boring little kitty. Okay, now let's start sewing the pouches. So, both of our pouches, both of our pouches will be uh, vertical, like that. So, let's see, three centimeters from the top, so... 13 centimeters will be our pouch, our uh, pouch uh, depth.
let's transfer the measures to bolt to our other pouches. Okay. Uh, but this mesh one will be uh, will be one centimeter lower than the other pouch because it will be easier to access it so the both pouches are 13 centimeters and this one will be 12 centimeters the mesh pouch Okay, now let's fold this and give it a stitch. Okay, so we have we have sewn the top part of the pockets. Now let's bind the bind the top part. Uh, if you don't have a binding tape, you can make it out of any fabric. Just cut uh, two and a half centimeters of fabric like that, or you can ignore it uh, completely. The only thing, uh, it's more of an aesthetic uh, purpose. Okay, so I will bind this by hand because I don't have the add-on for binding
Okay, now that that's done, let's add uh, some uh, elastic webbing. I will use a uh, 5 cm webbing and a 3 cm webbing. Uh, you can use 2.5 cm or whatever you have at hand. So we will use like this. Just cut the same length as the pocket length. Cut two pieces. And cut the same measurement of the uh, three centimeter webbing. The first elastic webbing will just sew in the middle. You can fold it in half like this and just use the um, chuck to mark the middle point. On the other part, we will sew it in three sections. So, our length is 13 centimeters. So, we will sew it in four and a half centimeter sections. Okay, so we have a uh, two sections, uh, we have a one set of two sections and one set of uh, three sections. So the mesh pocket will go first. In the middle of the pocket we will sew uh, the sides first. And then we will sew the uh, sections of three. Where we uh, sewn the stitches here, we will just do them. We will just uh, sew them on the pocket at the same place.
Okay. Now. All right. Now that we have our first pocket, let's sew that pocket onto the already existing pocket. So we will create a double pocket section. Just sew the like uh, just sew over the edges here. Double stitch. Right now we have our we have our two pockets. Let's continue with the other one, and we will repeat the process. We will just sew the sides here in the middle, place the elastic webbing in the middle of the of the pocket, sew the two sides, and in the middle. Now we have both of our pockets, now let's sew them on the front and back panel. Okay, so back panel and the pocket with uh, two sections will go on the back panel. Just like that and uh, we'll do a row of stitching here starting from the top right side make sure that you align the pocket uh, neatly with the with the back panel This is how it turned out. So we have one pocket here and another pocket here. And we have uh, these sections here, elastic sections. Okay, now let's sew the 
front pocket the pocket let's sew the pocket to the front panel let's repeat the process align neatly pocket with the panel and give it a row of stitching Alright, uh, now we have front, front panel and we have our pocket here, we have our back panel with two separate pockets, both of the pockets have elastic webbing and now uh, the next thing is to sew the zipper part and the bottom part. Alright, now before we start sewing our zipper and bottom part, we have one crucial thing to do and that is to mark the, the curvature for the curved angles of the pouch. So our pouch has a nice uh, oval shape. Uh, so we will start with the bottom part and on the outside of the pouch we will draw a curved we will draw our curvature I have a video also on making these and how to use them it's pretty easy I will post the links in the description This gives the pouch neat look and on the front panel we will draw on the inside. Alright, now, starting with the bottom part, first thing we want to do is to fold it in half like that, find the middle point and mark it on both sides, front and back. Now we also want to use the back panel and find the middle point here right side facing each, each other, align the webbing and start sewing. Now important part is that you don't sew all the way, uh, so some uh, 7 to 8 centimeters on both left and right side because we need the zipper to come in so we need to leave some room for the zipper zipper we'll do the same thing fold it in half like that and find the middle point
Now we also need the middle point on the other side. So we will mark the middle point as well on the other side. Align the middle points of zipper and the pouch and start sewing. Be mindful of the curve of the pouch that we've added and try to follow it as best as you can. Lift the presser, lift the presser foot and align the align the zipper with the, with the back side panel. Okay, now let's cut the excess fabric of the bottom part. Uh, I usually just cut the cut to the line here that I already marked. Uh, keep in mind that I'm uh, that I intentionally uh, uh, measured this bottom part a bit longer I added few centimeters because it's better to uh, cut the excess rather than ha uh, the having it too short and you need to add some fabric and uh, and then your whole bag looks terrible now align both ends of the bottom part and the zipper part together so they align like this and fold it towards the bottom part now you understand why we have uh, why we left the space here now let's stitch back towards the starting point
now it's the same deal as earlier cut the excess fabric here just on the line and stitch back to the towards the starting point Right. The next thing we want to do, next thing we want to do is to connect these two parts, these two, with the zipper part. So what will you, what you'll do? Press both parts like this. Fold the fabric fold the pouch all the way like that and you want to do a row of stitching just where they meet here and here so as you can see we want two rows of stitching like that so press the fabric press the fabric like that and fold the whole pouch and give it a row of stitching. Try to align the fabric as best as you can. And another stitch. Uh, that looks terrible, but it's just a practice okay now let's do the other one okay now let's sew the other side so try to align it Red, pinch it hard and give it a row of stitching Uh, it's not my best work, I must say, but uh, it will get the job done. Okay, now let's trim this excess. the front panel make sure that you align the front panel 
uh, upright so it's uh, right way up also we have markers on both sides here and we should have both markers we have here mark and here so we have here and here on left and right side so we need to also make sure that we have mark on this panel as well so we don't screw up the positioning of our pouch make sure that you find the middle points so correct side correct side needs to go up like like that so this is our top top side this is bottom side top side bottom side goes like that and now first thing we want to do is add a stitching here to hold it in place So when we sew the pouch it doesn't warp and uh, so we don't ruin our pouch. Next uh, thing is uh, align the middle point of the front panel with the bottom part of the here. and start sewing slowly be careful not to sew over something you don't want to in the inside of the pouch currently that will be on the outside when we finish the pouch It's a bit tedious work, but once you get used to, it gets easier. You can open the pouch, uh, it will help, makes things a bit easier.
Okay, now let's do one more row of stitching. Okay, uh, we have uh, one more thing to do, actually two more things. First thing is to cut all the excess fabric. Now that that's done, next thing on the list is to uh, burn the edges, burn everything that needs to be compacted so it doesn't un unravel. Now we want to bind both sides, so let's start. The uh, reason we are binding is because Cordura uh, tends to unravel and uh, it uh, makes a mess and also it looks prettier Okay, that's one side done, now let's uh, do the other side as well. Okay, now let's see how the pouch turned out. So 
so we have on one side we have one pocket with four sections of elastic webbing two bigger and two smaller openings on the other side we have two pockets one with mesh and one with regular fabric and we have uh, three sections by three sections of elastic webbing now let's close the pouch and see how it looks from the outside It turned out uh, okay. I must say I'm not very happy how it turned out. It's not my best work ever. Uh, it's uh, sloppy, I must admit, but it's just a guide for you guys to have an idea on how to make these pouches. These are my favorite type of pouches. These organizers, clamshell pouches, they're very interesting. So, let me add few stuff into the pouch to show you how it looks. And that's about it. All right, uh, so that was it for making this pouch. Uh, I really did a terrible job of making it. Uh, I have to apologize for that. That leaves uh, room for the next video, right? When I perfect this type of pouch, uh, it's really, it has a lot of techniques involved in sewing it, so it's a really good exercise, even if it doesn't turn out quite as you hope for. Uh, but, personally, I like it. I'll probably use this pouch. I hope you like this video. Uh, I hope you learned uh, something from it. You can follow me on Instagram, support me on Patreon. That would mean a lot to me, so I can keep making these uh, video tutorials and helping you guys learn how to sew. Um, and yeah, see you in another video.